Hey, hope you're having a great week. Today's video is by request. It's a makeup tutorial. Make sure my mic is on. I've done that before. Recorded a video with no mic. Ah, the joys. Anyway, I know you can hear me, so that's great. It's a by request makeup tutorial from last week's video when I shared what I packed and traveled with um, on my last vacation. And so many of you commented on the makeup look and you commented on the hair color. So I, I wanted to share both of those actually. The hair color, I <laughs> recently did myself are you surprised in any way? Of course you're not. So I was noticing a few little grays coming in and my stylist was out of town. So I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I found Argon Oil hair color. And I'm sitting there with all the little swatches and whatnot, trying to get the closest match. Anyway, the closest that I found was 3N Permanent Dark Natural Brown. So that's what I went with from Argon Oil and, and, and I did the roots myself. And so how did I know Know what color to use? Well, when I had my blonde pixie, the back of my hair was natural. I didn't color it. And as I saw my roots come in and I could see the contrast between the blonde and the brown, I thought, wow, that's some dark hair back there. All of this is, is my natural hair color back here. So I really tried my best to match that. And unbeknownst to me, I'm a pretty dark brown. Haven't seen it in a while. So anyway, thank you. I'm glad you like it. And I'm really glad you liked the makeup look from last week. And so I wanted to guide you through a real simple tutorial on, on how to create that. I'm using actually a lot of drugstore products here and products that you have seen in multiple videos. You know that I do not like to constantly bring in new things. I want you to use what you have. And if you have purchased things because I featured them, I want you to repurpose them and see how you can do that. So how would I define this look? It's probably more of a soft smoky eye soft summery look more cool tones with a little bit of shimmer probably the best way to describe it so you'll be able to find these things within your color scheme and your palettes um, the eye palette that i'm going to use and i had mentioned this in last week's video you've got a couple of choices so this one violet voss all of you forever is a palette that i have used time and time again and i love it because it has um, these greens, which I like because my eyes are hazel and the plum and the black. And so this makes for a really great smoky combination. So if you have this palette, you can go for it. I'm going to use this one that I've also featured before. It's by Makeup Forever. It's called Let's Gold. And again, you're going to see similar colors here. So it really doesn't matter, but I love these dark kind of green tones and the brown. And so these will all work really, really well. If you do not have greens or you don't feel comfortable with greens, you can use taupes, smoky browns. You can use plums just as long as it's deep enough because that's the key for a smoky eye look is the depth that it creates. We're really kind of shading it and shadowing that eye and then everything else, the lip is going to be lighter and the cheek a little bit more sun-kissed and bronze. So um, let's go ahead and launch in. I've done moisturizer and sunscreen. So I will assume that you have done that already before we start. The um, Primer that I'm going to use is by Catrice and it's Goodbye Pores Prime and Fine Poreless Blur Primer. Very affordable, works great. And off we go. I apply it a little bit heavier in areas where my pores are larger. Obviously that would be the nose, the chin, and the forehead. Preferably not the hair. <laughs> Foundation that I'm going to use is by Milani. These will be coming on and off multiple times. Um, it is Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. My shade is 07 Sand. It's a nice warm color and it fits now that I've got a little bit of self-tan. Can't really see since I've got a shirt on, but you can kind of tell that my neck and chest area is a little bit darker. So I always match my foundation to that area and you'll see all of that pull through wonderful concealing foundation oil free lasts pull it down hit your ears if you've got short hair like me 
I'm gonna be using an eyelid primer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've used this before. I really like it. It's um, very concentrated, comes out almost whitish. So it's, think of it as a canvas in a way for your eyeshadow, but I also really like it because it builds in kind of a natural brow highlight as well. If you don't have a super light eyeshadow, just this alone really highlights that brow bone area. I have eyelash extensions. They're um, wispy extensions, not the volume lash, just in case you're curious. And so whenever you apply any type of primer or eyeshadow, you just take your index finger and hold them down. But you see how white it is. It's almost like priming a wall before you paint it. Sort of what I think of when I apply this. Okay, and it dries to a really nice finish, not sticky whatsoever, very soft and matte. Moving on to eyebrows, NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Espresso, still my favorite, my go-to. I love it so much. Bottom border first. So cool. It's, it, you can create such a microbladed effect with this because it's such a fine pen. And it's really nice to even leave some gaps in there, just like the natural brow hair would, would grow. I just make my border a little bit thicker because I like a thicker brow. I need to go back to Connie. It's time for a uh, microblading session. I'll reference those videos. I've done a series on microblading. And you can see where I started and just how far I've come. I think brows are so fun to do. It's probably the artist in me that enjoys it the most. It's like happy trees. <laughs> okay. All right, so onward to the eyeshadow palette. And what I'm going to use for my lid color is this sort of medium toned olive green that you can see right here in the middle, the third from the right. Use just a flat brush. Just press it in. Shake off any excess. And again, for me, it's just holding down the lashes. Now, as you've seen before uh, on my makeup tutorials for hooded eyes, I do come up high. I create an artificial crease up higher and it really helps to open up the eye. As we get older, our lids get heavier. So you also want to go a little bit deeper in your eyeshadow colors too light colors will just make things look bigger and protrude. And so with the smoky eye, and the reason why I love it so much is it creates this recession in the eye. And these medium tones to then darker tones really create some nice depth. So same thing on the other side. So after I've built it up, I then start taking my brush and pulling it out a little bit. My end point is going to be the outer corner of the brow. So it's eventually become, going to become a soft sweep out. And again, I want this color coming up pretty high, but now I'm using just the, the remnants of what's left on my brush. So it gets thinner and thinner the higher it goes. And we're eliminating some lines now. Just making it, I guess in a way, a soft fade. Okay. Now I'm gonna come in with my darker color. For that, I really love this super dark olive khaki green on the bottom. It's like almost a blackish green in a way. And I'm going to really smoke it out on the outer thirds of the eye with a rounded tip brush. 
just get in there and you're going to see that I just sort of swirl it around. Concentrating mainly on this area right above the lash line, creating a V, and we use a blending brush in a little bit just to bring it all together. So for that, it's just a super soft brush. Again, just to swirl, no hard lines. That's the key for a smoky look. It's just a lot of softness. See how I'm not afraid to carry it up high. You don't want too much light on the orbital bone here because again, it creates that heavy effect. It makes the orbital bone look droopy. So that's why I like to bring my colors up high as well. So you not only create this new crease, but it's really an open eye effect. And then it leaves just a very nice thin line underneath the eyebrow for brow highlight. Speaking of brow highlight, well, you know, can use either one or two. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it. This one's a flat, but since I have just a tiny, tiny area that I want to use, I'm just going to do this off white color here and just hug it right underneath my eyebrows. And come down to the inner corner. The next thing we're going to do is line the water line of the eye, top and bottom. For that, I have Lancome's waterproof eyeliner. So I start with the top line, come from underneath. If you don't have lash extensions, you'll be smudging into your eyelashes. In my case, it's just taking care of the upper water line. And now I'm gonna run it on the lower line as well. Again, it's a smoky look. So the same flat brush where we used the medium green, I'm now going to go in with that darker green and I'm going to smudge, I'm just gonna like touch, tiny, tiny, tiny bit, and just smudge that lower lash line. I'm not going all the way in, just starting maybe two thirds of the way. And I'm just doing a kind of a flat line. And by doing kind of a straight line, it prevents that sort of rounded look because our eyes tend to curve in in the middle and this gives kind of a straighter almost a cat eye type of an effect just by keeping this line a little bit straighter and starting not so far in the emphasis of that smoky look is that pull outward and again just use your blending brush to soften anything Okay, now what I do is I will take a liquid liner for my top lashes, top lash line, just the outer, say half, and just sort of hug it right here. to Give myself just a little bit of an outer wing, not much. It's just a little bit of a thickness to the outer half of the top lash line. So it's just more emphasis there. Okay, at this point for you um, would be mascara time. Just pick your favorite mascara of choice for lengthening and volumizing. I'm just gonna take my spoolie and brush out my lashes and just sort of brush out any eyeshadow that may have fallen on them. Clean them up and separate them. Okay, y'all, this is where it's about ready to get seriously crazy. <laughs> There's this new product that I found and I've never really done this before on this channel, but it is a bottom lash mascara by Clinique. I know, you're freaking out. What, bottom lashes? 
okay, here's what's so cool about this particular product. It is the tiniest little wand on the planet. So it's designed for bottom lashes, but what I do, because you know my feeling about mascara on bottom lashes, you don't want it to pull down, create the long hanging spiders, which create a droopy look in the eye. But this thing is so itty bitty that it literally allows you to get in there right at the base and just kind of wiggle. And so all it does is create some darkness right here at the start of where your bottom lashes grow out. I do not pull it down. But again, it creates some nice depth where we smudged and did it with uh, the shadow. So it's just like this. You go in, you literally tap, wiggle, tap, wiggle, tap, wiggle. That's it. But it's just a little bit more depth to the whole thing, especially when you've got all that emphasis up top on the top lash line and that added liner out to the side, I feel it creates a little bit um, more symmetry and balance and it really makes the eyes kind of pop and open. Just be careful not to pull too far. Be careful that your shadowing isn't too deep. You can always lighten, you can always correct if you feel it's too much. You know the best way to do that? Take a, once all of this has dried, you can take a Q-tip and you can gently smudge underneath the lower lash line if you feel like you applied too much. Or even when you apply your concealer, which is the next step, you can take that concealer a little bit higher and soften that as well. So it's up to you, but I think it's fun just to play around and see how it looks because it really does create a bold, open, dramatic eye. And since all the emphasis is going on the eyes, why not? Okay, the concealer is Tarte Shape Tape Double Duty. This one is in medium 35N. 35N. Oh, also, um, I like after everything has kind of set for a while, I do like to brush out the brows. And just soften that a little bit. Okay. A little dab will do you with this stuff. So I use the bulk of my concealer where I need it most, which is inner corner and straight down here. Just for highlight purposes. Got a little red spot on my nose, so it's a good time to hit that too. And then the little bit that's left for the outside helps me to make that line nice and clean right here. Now that that's on, I like to set the concealer. I just love this pressed powder by It by By Pores. It's the compact that I keep in my purse just whenever I need a quick little touch up if I'm shiny, but it's an excellent powder for setting the under eye concealer. Um, it does not cause creasing and crepiness. And since we started with a pore-based primer to minimize, I just like to continue the pore theme. It's always good not to have pores. I just keep kind of going down and touching in areas where my pores really like to give me problems. Who wants that? Okay, for the rest of it, it's Laura Mercier Translucent Loose, of course. So you can decide with this look whether you want more of a matte finish, a dewy finish, light coverage, medium heavy coverage, It totally up to you. This really isn't about um, foundation look per se, it's just more of an overall makeup look focusing on the eyes and a warm skin, lighter lip. So I completely leave that up to you. I just wanted to put that out there. Maybe you don't want to touch up with powder and you want to leave a little bit of shine. So again, totally personal. Um, the next thing would be contouring and highlighting. And I just love this e.l.f. palette, this contour highlight palette. Um, sometimes what I do is I'll use the contour and then this lighter contour, I'll just use up sort of as my blush color. Uh, it's warm enough and if I don't want to kick in too much pink or coral, like in this case, I really wouldn't, then the blend of those two can be more than sufficient. So starting with the darker color using my contour brush, I'm just going to go in, kind of warm up just under the cheekbone. And 
into the hairline. For me, tip of the nose, a little bit on the sides, jawline. Contouring can be so effective in basically reshaping and creating angles in your face. Um, doing it even higher than the jaw takes care of width in this area, can make it seem more narrow. Doing contouring just on the outsides of the neck can make a wide neck seem more narrow. So it's, it's pretty cool. All the options that are available to you. And so, like I mentioned, just for blush, I'm just gonna use this next shade. It's like a tan color. And it just kind of keeps it in tune with this nude palette that I've got going on. And then you can use any one of these highlight colors, so mix them. Just hit the tip of the nose, above the lip, center of the chin. I like the cheekbone, top of the nose. Anyway, you get the gist, but that's, that's sufficient. This is really more about, you know, eyes. Eyes, let the eyes be the feature. Speaking of eyes, um, y'all might think I'm crazy for doing this, but I mentioned the Lumify before, and I will put eye drops in after I've done my eye makeup. Now you may be thinking, Girl, you are crazy. You are gonna make that eye makeup just go everywhere. But I am a skilled professional. So I just do one drop in each eye. For you, you may need to do this before eye makeup. For me, after I've kind of smoked out the eye and I've got liner on the inside, I feel I need it after, but I just do one little hit, one little drop. And it stays in and... and that's it, and, and nothing smears or smudges. Okay, now that everything has settled in with the eyes, going to line the lips with NYX Nude Truffle Lip Liner, my favorite little nude, so cost-effective. Really, is, it's almost like your lip color. So if you need to accentuate, go outside the line a little bit, you can create kind of a nice blurred effect. And then you can take a Q-tip, take your pinky, just soften. I like it so it's more of a shadow instead of a harsh line. So the lip combo that I wore in last week's video that you guys really seem to like so much, the lipstick is by my friend Sergio with art on it and it's called Solo. And it's this kind of nude brownish tan color. And the lip gloss is his and it's called posh which is a real cool kind of bronzy gold so together these two made a really really pretty combination and that's what i'm going to do for you today so po uh, solo first right solo posh solo posh okay there's solo and it is a true nude posh on top just a little dabble do you he likes to put a lot of sparkle in his and i love that it's not, it's not super gooey. And then focusing on the center. And I figure I gotta complete everything. I have um, Garnier Fructis. They changed the name of it, but it's now called Pixie Play. It's essentially the same um, pomade that I used for styling my hair. Take a little bit out, rub it between your hands. And that's what's so cool about a short haircut. You can just, you can just play <laughs> and do whatever the heck you like. Um, you know, texturizes, you can move it forward. I'm, I'm feeling a hair tutorial coming. I am. I mean, you can kind of push it all forward and then sweep it to the side. 
I've got a little side mirror over here, so I'm cheating. It's bigger. See? It's amazing all the different little things you can do with a with a pixie. Um, yeah, so there's there's that. Or you can make it stand up. Kind of spike it. Go off to the side. So was more like it was more like this for last week's video what do you say we we close out today with something different i don't want to be so copycat with myself good enough there i had something i had hair i had hair in my face um but i hope this demo walked you through it i hope that you have a lot of these products at home i'm, I'm going to assume that you do if you've been with me for a while the nice thing about a majority of what i used is that it came from the drugstore it's very affordable for instance nyx cruelty free you know there's so many great things catrice also great products out there and and i like being able to help with price point as well so glad this was requested because you know me how do i turn down a makeup tutorial love them. Um, if a hair tutorial is next, let me know or whatever else that you may be thinking that I will leave up to you in the comment section below just to let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, you can click that down below. You can also click subscribe if you have not subscribed yet to my channel. People often wonder, well, what does subscribing mean? Do I have to pay something? No, it's nothing like that. It just will notify you when a video is released every Thursday at one o'clock. You'll get a little email and that's it and your presence on social media means the world to me as well follow me on instagram and facebook love chatting with you there during the week i read the comments and i got a lot of comments about this makeup look and so here we are anyway i can't wait to see what you have in store for me in the meantime enjoy playing around in your bathroom or wherever you put on your face go out be bold and be blessed i'll see you next week bye